And that leads to step four, hire a supportive birth team. Who you hire matters, and I cannot stress this enough. This is particularly important when you are planning your first pregnancy, because the choices you make in this birth can affect your options in the future. Often I see first time moms making three big mistakes. They go with the typical mainstream childbirth classes taught by the local hospital. They hire the first OB that their doctor refers them to, and they don't hire a doula or else they price shop for the cheapest option. I implore you not to do this. Even though the mom groups all perpetuate this attitude, it will lead to nowhere good and you will regret it. Hiring a care provider, a doula, and a childbirth educator must be a deeply personal decision based on what you want for your birth, though few people realize this. I've written a mini guidebook, How to Hire Your Care Provider, if you want a more in-depth process for choosing the right doctor or midwife who will support the kind of birth you want. But the Cliff Notes version is this. You need to treat every appointment as an interview. When you shift your mindset from thinking that you need to just pick someone and stick with them to recognizing that you're actually hiring a service, not an expert, the odds of the game are suddenly in your favor. The power dynamic shifts from, am I allowed, to, are you going to support me or do I need to keep looking? So before you go out and ask your best friend which doctor they used or ask the mom groups or go through the long list of doctors in your area, you need to remember why you're hiring them in the first place. After all, you don't need them to birth your baby. It's a physiological process that will happen whether they are there to catch or someone else's. Who you are actually hiring is someone who can offer you the tests you want to have give you the information you need to make decisions in your care, and who will be able to help you should you decide that you need assistance during your birth. Birth is not a medical event. It doesn't require all the typical routine interventions, exams, and procedures that society has led you to believe are necessary. You don't need anyone to tell you when and how to go to the bathroom, and you don't need anyone to tell you when and how to give birth. It's instinctual. Your body will just do it. Therefore, if your goal is a natural birth, you need to hire someone who trusts your body to do it and will also recognize that their role is to support you in what you want, not push their own agenda or just do things the way they've always done them. This isn't easy to find, but these care providers are out there. What you want to avoid in your search is anyone who can't get past their own ego. It's a lot like going on a date. You wouldn't stay with anyone who immediately dismissed your opinions or acted like they were in charge, right? Don't take that from a care provider either. It doesn't matter that they went to medical school. If they have no compassion and no desire to learn from you, on how to support you in what is the most important moment of your life, then I don't care how smart they are or how many births they've attended. Run! Next, your childbirth educator needs to be someone who also sees you as an individual. They need to be open to other ideas and be willing to deviate from the lesson plan to answer your questions. They need to take your questions and concerns seriously. Anyone who is just regurgitating the same rote information that you could find online without putting their own spin on it or explaining why things are the way they are is not someone you want to learn from. You want someone who can provide their perspective, yes, but also be open to other options. Nurses who are teaching hospital birth classes are often instructed on how to teach. They are also gagged when it comes to discussing certain risks or informing you of the loopholes to their local hospital policies. This isn't to say nurses are bad, but often their information is colored by the institution they work for and by their education. An independent childbirth educator is a good option. However, you need to be careful. 
Some educators are natural birth or bust and won't discuss medical intervention other than to tell you the risks of having them. They could also provide very good information on physiological birth, but not provide any information on how to get that kind of birth inside of the hospital. So what happens if you develop a complication or decide that you feel safer in the hospital? You wind up being left unprepared. When you're looking at birth classes, you need to again look at what you want for your birth and consider any backup plans you have for possible interventions. What education do you really need that you feel a class will give you far better than your own research? Are you looking more for a sense of belonging as you supplement your own learning? Consider why you are taking a class and what you hope to get out of it before you spend money and waste time you don't really have on one that doesn't work for you. Finally, your doula is not just a person, but a special service that needs to be customized to your needs. Too often, I have seen moms randomly hire a doula that was on the list in a directory or suggested in a mom group without having any idea who that person actually is. If you go to empoweringmomsbirth.com forward slash extras, you'll find a list of questions you can ask before you hire a doula, and I encourage you to think about them carefully. The bottom line is that when you hire your doula, remember that you need to know what you're looking for in the first place. Why are you hiring them? Are you looking for someone to save you from a bad birth? Sorry, but a doula can't actually do that. No one can. You're the only one who can save you because you're the only one who can birth this baby. What a doula can do is help you stay in your power and remind you of what you want for your birth. A good doula not only will know your birth plans inside and out, but they also believe in your ability to get that birth experience and they will do everything they can to make sure other people follow your wishes. That means that if a random nurse walks into your room, your doula can head them off before they reach you, find out what they want, and then communicate it to you to either have you agree to have that nurse do what she came there to do or politely tell her to leave. At home, it can mean keeping the pool warm, cleaning up the birth space, helping prepare food for you, and giving your partner a break to sleep or go to the bathroom as needed. The right doula for you is the one who you can trust to put your needs ahead of any agenda. They need to have gotten past their own traumas so that they don't try to interfere with your birth to avoid disaster. The absolute worst doula is the one who only got into birth to prevent what happened to her from happening again. There needs to be space for your birth story to unfold. And now we go into the journal questions. Remember, you can go and get an actual copy of the journal questions by going to empoweringmomsbirth.com forward slash extras. Journal exercise 1.4. As you can see, there's a lot to consider before you hire birth professionals to support you. So now it's time to take out that notebook again and ask these questions. Number one, what do you need to feel supported in your birth? Number two, what qualities do you need in the person or people you choose to hire? Number three, what feeling do you want to get from them that will help you know that they're the right person? Number four, what else do you need to know about them to feel comfortable inviting them into your birth space or to discuss intimate details of your pregnancy and birth? And number five, what do you want to hear from them when you feel nervous, scared, unsure of your options or your ability to birth. By now, you should have a clear picture of the kind of birth you want and how you want to feel before, during, and afterward. You now have an idea what information you need to obtain about birth, where you'll feel safest to birth, and who you want to hire. Now comes the tricky part, getting your family, friends, and partner on board.